Hello everyone, I hope you are enjoying your flexible instruction days and making sure you are budgeting your time to complete your work for all of your classes. So this is our daily video. I will post one of these videos the night before each day. So this is our video for Monday the 16th. I will post one Monday night for Tuesday as well. So this is just going to go through what you need to complete for that flexible instruction day and give you directions. Okay, so I'm in our flexible instruction days folder in Schoology looking at Monday 316. So our agenda for Monday is that we have to do our bell ringer. We're working on our project, the population Instagram story, and we are doing a closure discussion. Okay, so I'm going to head into Monday. We'll look at our bell ringer first. So for your bell ringer, you need to answer this discussion post. Why are age and sex distribution important in determining the health and future growth of a population? Okay, so next, our main topic or our main activity for today, Monday, is this population Instagram story. So I'm going to go into our assignment and look at our attachments. Okay, so this file has your instructions. So I would like you to create this Instagram story using Canva. Now, if you have a specific situation where maybe the Canva app is not working for you, or um, you, can, you can't access it on your iPad at home, send me a message in Schoology or send me an email and we can figure that out. We can figure out if you can use a different platform, maybe Google or Pages, or if you can do it on paper. If nothing else is working on your iPad. Okay, but I would prefer that you use Canva. And when you go into Canva, it's going to ask you to create an account. It's going to ask you to create a Google account. Use your school Gmail and log in with your school Gmail to access Canva. Okay, so you're going to make an Instagram story about a specific organism. So in that story, you're going to include an organism name, the organism's name. This can be a plant or an animal or a bacteria or fungi, if you would like to do one of those. You need to say where your organism is found geographically. That means where in the world do you find this organism? How many of the organisms are left in the world? So is it endangered, is it threatened, or is it doing pretty well? Is it least concern? What is the population density? So do they live in a high and low density? What is their distribution? So they live in clumps, random, or uniform? That question you likely won't be able to find online. That you'll have to think about what we learned about those different distributions and look at certain behaviors. Like is this animal territorial or does it live in groups to try and decide which distribution your organism is. And then I want you to include two other fun facts about the organism. Okay, we have our rubric down here. So you get six points for having all of the content listed above. You get four points for having at least four pictures, one point per picture. You get four points for your um, Instagram story being attractive and four for it being visually organized. And our last four for use of class time. Because we are not in class, uh, that will just be based on when your Instagram story is turned in. So is it turned in on Monday or Tuesday? I guess the story is due on Tuesday. So this Instagram story is our lesson for today. It is our main activity today. But tomorrow, for Tuesday, all you have to do is one worksheet because I'm rolling a lot of this Instagram story into tomorrow, into Tuesday's lesson. So Tuesday's lesson is half working on this Instagram story. Okay, so now I'm going to do two things. First, I'm going to show you the Canva app, and then we're going to look at my example. Okay, so I'm going to leave Schoology and not Clever, we need to find Canva. So Canva looks a little bit like Clever and you should have it. If you don't, you can download that from your app portal. So I'm opening Canva. Now I am already logged in. So I logged in through Google, not going to try Canva Pro. I logged in through Google and so I'm going to go right here to Instagram story. This is where it gives me all of my templates. 
So I can pick one of these templates. Let's go with, uh, let's do this one. And once I select my template, all my free templates, you can go in and you can make adjustments. You can add text right there. You can change the color of your text. You can make it italics. You can make it not italics. You can change the font and the font size. I'm also going to go over here to photos. So here we can add photos to see you can add a photo of a lion. So there's a lot of stuff you can search to say, I want to do a penguin. I can search penguin in the photos. And I have tons of free photos of a penguin that I can use in my Instagram story. Uh, you can add different elements, different little pictures. You can add text boxes. Can't really add music. You can change the background. And then if there's a photo that you found online that you like, you can upload an image or a photo as well. So here are some pictures of penguins. Okay. So now I'm going to head back to Schoology and show you my sample. So here we have our example. So this is something that I made about African penguins. So I have it as more than one page, which you can have it as more than one page. Mine is three. Actually, do we see how to add a page? Because that might be a question we have. Yep, that little plus sign. So if you want to add a second page, you just hit that little plus sign. So you can have more than one page to your Instagram story. Okay, so on the front page, I have the name of the organism as well as where it is found. So what countries it is found in. I have how many are left in the world plus the fact that they are endangered. I have that they live in a high population density and in a clump distribution. And here are sort of my fun facts. So I'm saying that the largest colony is on Dyer Island. And up here, I'm, oh, sorry. I'm up here, I'm saying that in 1978, Dyer Island had all of these breeding pairs, but we had drastic population decline, which tells me that's an unhealthy population. Then I have four pictures. I actually have five pictures, two on the front and three on the inside. Okay, so that is your main task for today, and then part of your main task for tomorrow is completing that Instagram story. Now, for finding all of your information, I recommend this website. I have the link to this website right in there. It's called the IUCN Red List, and it will give you, for almost every organism, pretty much all of the info you need. So, let's say we wanted to do this Al Alatra Lemur. Read lemur. So I click on our read lemur. Okay, so it tells me how many organisms there are. It tells me where it is. I can zoom out and see what part of the world this lemur is found in, this part of Madagascar. It lives in the wetlands. Now, do oh, for this one, we don't know the number of mature individuals. So for some animals, we have that number there, but for this one, we do not. But it does tell us that it is a decreasing population. Okay, so let's do a, if we did like a more popular animal, like a tiger. So let's look for a tiger. Okay, not a tiger fish. We would like a tiger. There we go. Okay, so if we were looking at tiger. We have that it's endangered. We can see where it's found in the world. Now we have the population number. And then you can Google other stuff to find out do they live in low or do they live in high population densities and try to figure out um, their distribution. So that is a site that I recommend. It is not the only site you are able to use, but that is what I recommend for your Instagram story research. Okay, and lastly is your closure discussion. So in your closure for today, as it loads, all I want you to do for your closure is to tell me what organism you chose and why. So maybe you chose tigers because they're your favorite animal, or maybe you chose penguins because you know they are endangered, Anything like that. Or maybe you just 
chose an animal because it was uh, one of the first ones you thought of or one that came up quickly on our source here on our IUCN red list. Okay, so those are your three tasks today to do your bell ringer, work on your Instagram story, and do your closure. And again, you do not have to finish your Instagram story just today because tomorrow there's a little bit less to do because I'm giving you extra time to work on your Instagram story. Thank you, and I will see you again tomorrow.